more vectors on the screen, the more stable it is, but if I switch to something with less vectors, like this one, you can hear the high voltage. This one doesn't have that many vectors. So it's pin three of IC501. When you put it on the DAC offset test, it's a really good test because the screen turns completely off. And this problem shows up when there's very little vectors on the screen. I figured out what is going on with my Vectrex. So apparently, when I turn the voltage up, the screen shrinks because the 555 circuit is not switching correctly anymore. It's not getting enough power, so the high voltage node is probably collapsing. And that noise you hear is because it's not pulsing at the right frequency. It's pulsing a lot faster, so it's audible. And we're basically at like 120, and it starts doing it around there once it kind of warms up. I may have to get up into here when it's cold. Alright, so I replaced the 555 timer with a National Instruments LM555, like almost an exact copy of what was in there. I uh, put it in a machine socket, and now when I turn up the voltage, no weird oscillations in the 555 timer. So, I think we are fixed. So I'm varying the uh, input voltage here. You can kind of see that the screen grows and shrinks maybe a little bit. But, I'm gonna tune everything for 120. I'll probably plug it into. Well, I'll double check that this is matching my line voltage before I adjust things. Because um, the voltage does affect the size of the screen. So, different input voltages, you might get a little bigger or smaller screen. Alright, so if you do replace the 555 timer, you're going to need to readjust the switching frequency of this circuit. That's controlled by R526 which sets the on time, you'll adjust that to 10 microseconds. And the off time is controlled by R525, and you want to adjust the off time to 40 microseconds. So overall, you'll have 50 microseconds between rising edges.